Welcome back, everybody. It's been a long six months, and I think we're back. Oh my goodness. I think we're ready to get back into the videoing. So let me update you on the last six months while we walk over to this barn without slipping, hopefully not slipping. But so what happened was the first month without me recording, we had some goats born. The next two months we had some more goats born. And then we put a buck in. And that is our master buck we put in. And now we have babies. There's some other things that I need to catch up to the order at the barn. Holy crap. Hello. But yeah. <clears throat> so we have five does in the kidding, ready to be kidding stall. This is one of our babies that are for sale. He is a registered buckling from Kenai. Beautiful buck. Then we have this mama. She had quads. Yeah. Yikes. And uh, she had three females and one male. If you saw my um, mini videos, what I like to call them, I have one that's been bottle feeding. So yes, we only had two live and two died. We had one female die and one male die. And so we came up with one female and one female at the house being bottle fed. This female is being kept. And the one in, in the house, I'm not too sure if I'm in a cellar. Someone offers me the right price. Or if I can get the right amount for her, I'll probably sell her. Her father is a master champion buck. Has all the legs into the master. He cannot show anymore. He is done. And this is the mom. She's a little skinnied out because she had quads. These babies are close to three weeks now, I think. And I think they're almost ready to go. Well, at least the bottle baby's ready to go. That little buckling's definitely ready to go. But yeah, so today we're just gonna be checking up on everything, letting you know. So I made a thing where I'll only be posting on like Mondays, Wednesdays, and like Fridays. Those are the days I'll probably be posting. So if I don't post Monday, I'll probably post Wednesday. If they don't post Wednesday, I'll probably post Friday. One of those days, or I could do all of them, or just two. So right now we're gonna check the goats. So if you look at a goat, oh my goodness, come on. <sighs> so if you look at a goat, their udder will start to form. Let me see if I can try to get that. I might not be able to. Like that, you can see it's starting to form. Also, their vulva will start to open and liquid will start to come out. Have you, can, you can obviously see Lollaboom is getting close. This girl should also be getting close. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, yeah, a bunch of these girls are getting ready. We definitely. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we are redoing the barn and making this a goat barn. Obviously, it's still a wreck, but we reorganized these so they have doors coming out and windows. We blocked that up. We're gonna make a new, we're gonna make a sliding door that comes out. Uh, you should just come check this out. Like, this is actually pretty cool. Like, the color of the barn is like spot on. Perfect. Oh, that's not good. So, they haven't done this side yet, so I'm like, yeah, this side's like perfect and then it's all garbage. But it has a white roof with red body, absolutely beautiful with white trim. We're gonna keep this open so we can back the trailer up and just come all the poop out. We already did that, but like after kidding season. 
So kidding season is going to be in this barn. But next kidding season, all this will be out. You can obviously see I have doors open and windows. Those will be just like this side, except for a little longer. And these will be like breeding stalls and these are kidding stalls. And I will have buck runs going out. Not on this side, but like over here. Then we have our... And this is going to be our, um, what is it called? Sorry, guys. Like, bathing and getting ready to show just my tack room, is, I would call it. So that's going to be a tack room. We're going to destroy it and build, build it bigger because when we, um, when we were digging things out, a new concrete slab kind of came out and it surprised us all. So, and also the roof line is totally off and it's gonna make the water drip down into the front of our door and make a puddle and that's not what we want. You can obviously see, see we have another slab. It's a little beat up because it's been outside, but we're gonna, still gonna use it because inside of there is tiny, but yeah. Uh, see you over here. And these are just my does that are probably not gonna give birth. We do have some does that look like they're gonna give birth. Yes, that's a buck. Uh, he's just getting all the does that aren't bred. Ah, oh, we have a doe out, yes. Sometimes that happens. It happens for unknown reasons, but I don't like it when that happens because I don't want those guys to get bred. You know the bucking block. Oh my goodness, it's cold. These are all the bucklings for sale. That boy right there, that caramel. He, his mom is almost a master champion doe. So, not sure if I'm gonna sell him or not. But all these other bucks are for sale. Might sell one of those bigger bucks. Maybe Wyatt. Wyatt is actually doing pretty good, so we'll see how he does. These are all my does that I kept from last year. I am selling two of them. So it's that one and that one. These guys could probably get bred, but not yet. This guy has one lot. That guy has one a little bit. And the rest haven't really been winning. It's that doe right there. These two does have been winning. That doe, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna sell that doe. But yeah. That's what's going around over here. We put all of our chicken and stuff into here. So they don't get eaten by coyotes. Sorry if you can't hear me. It's so noisy. But, so, this is all of our does. We have our baby doe that got out, baby burrito. Then we have all these other does I'm gonna be checking out to see if I should put them in the almost ready to give birth stall. It looks like none of them are ready, it looks like. So we'll, we'll just see what's going on, because I should have a few does that should be giving birth. Dot, not her. I'm hoping she didn't get bred. She's too small. She's fat, but small. But yeah. I have a lot of those. And also some bad news. We had two mamas give birth to twins and died because we weren't here and it got cold really quick um and yeah also we had two does die out of the does giving birth that their babies died so we've had a lot of deaths this year sadly because we haven't really been keeping watch also <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.
Just sad. What are you looking at me like that for? But yeah, I need to get this dough in so she doesn't get bread because he's way too small. But hopefully this will catch you up, guys. I'm hoping. And see you guys in a few days. Hopefully. See ya. <laughs> so cute.